The father of AI tells all, Andre Carpathy did an interview this week and one of OpenAI's founding members just admitted that what nobody in Silicon Valley wants to hear. Andre Carpathy, the guy who helped build the very foundation of modern AI, is now saying that we're at least a decade away from AI agents that actually work. Not 2025, not next year, 2035 at the earliest. And here's the part that should terrify every investor pumping billions of dollars into the space. He's not alone. The data is screaming the same warning. OpenAI is growing at only 9%, while unknown competitors are exploding at an unprecedented rate. Companies spending $400 billion this year with 95% seeing zero return. So today I'm going to break down what Carpathy really said, what the traffic data reveals, and why this might be a 17 times bigger than the dot-com crash. Let's dive into this today. All right, so Andre Carpathy isn't some random critic. This is the guy who co-founded OpenAI, led AI at Tesla, and basically invented what he calls vibe coding. So he's the one who actually coined that term. When he says that, what we, that we've been oversold on AI, you better listen. So we're gonna dive into what he actually said today and what the numbers are telling us. Now, before we dig in, make sure you leave a comment down below because generally this is my favorite thing. It's the best compliment you can give me. So let me know your thoughts as we go through this. So let's dive into some of these reports and go over some of this today. So last week, Andre Carbathy went on the podcast with Dwarkesh Patel, and he said, we're summoning ghosts, not building animals. Now, this is a two and a half hour podcast, so I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna pull a bunch of relevant quotes and stuff out of it. We've gone through it for you. But I wanna kind of talk about this and in here, Andre, this Andre Carpathy asks me during the interview, Andre explains why reinforced learning is terrible, but everything else is much worse. Why AJ will not just blend into previous uh, 2.5 centuries of 2% GDP growth and why driving took so long to crack and what he sees as the future of education. Now, what you notice here is this is what Carpathy has left pretty much the AI industry at this point to start to work on. He's really trying to work on the future of education. And I actually agree with him on this, that I think this is something where we are going to see some major changes over the coming five years. And I'm talking over the next five years. I think we're definitely going to see an impact on this in the next 10 years. So this is a really interesting episode, and we're going to definitely dig through some of this. Now, this is a, a follow-up uh, text or um, uh, post that Andre did after. And he said, it's my pleasure to come on to our cash last week. I, I thought the questions and conversation were really good. I rewatched the pod just now. First of all, yes, I know, and I'm sorry that I speak so fast. He and I are both, you know, similar on this. We both speak way too fast when we get excited. It's to my detriment because sometimes my speaking uh, thread out executes my thinking thread. I follow the same problem. So I think I botched a few explanations due to that. And sometimes I was also, I was so also nervous that I'm going to too much of a tangent or too deep into something relatively spurious. Anyways, few points. If you like this clip, make sure you check out the full Startup Hack live video here because we've got lots more for you today. 